Then measure my tail. Hmm. Use your second grade thinking brains. What kind of math are we going to do? Don't say it. Just think about it. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin. My tail is five inches long, and with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. Do you have an idea of what kind of math we're doing? The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. He measured the toucan's beak. We're reading a book right here. Thanks, Koa. He measured the legs of the heron. the tail of the pheasant, and the whole hummingbird. One morning, the nightingale <coughs> met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song, or I'll eat you for breakfast. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. Hey, boys and girls, what do you think? Raise your hand if you know what kind of math the inchworm is doing. Calvin, you're sitting here nice and quiet. Caleb? Caleb, sorry. Yes, Caleb. Um, Taking little inchworm steps. 
here's what to learn about this inchworm step in the step game. Let's think, what do you think the inchworm is going to do to get away from the nightingale? What do you think? Raise your hand if you have an idea. Close the step, close the step, maybe. What, how do you think the inchworm is going to get away from our nightingale? Someone who hasn't raised their hand yet. Colin, you haven't raised your hand. Um, going to pretend to measure the song. Let's see what he says. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured. I'll scoot the book up so you can see the inchworm. It's right here. This tiny little inchworm. He measured and measured inch by inch. What type of measurement is he doing? Inch. Inch. He's doing inches until he inched out of sight. He disappeared. Okay, so that's the end of our book. Jamie, will you grab the next, please? big in inches. Use two fingers to show me how big you think an inch is. Use two fingers like this and you can be, it's only this big or it's this big. What do you think? Mm. Talon says it's really small. Max says it's kind of big, but it's small. Right. I think I'm going to bring this little piece of paper and you're going to make your fingers as big as this paper. Make your fingers as big as that paper. What you're doing is making your fingers like an inch. You make your fingers that big? You want to come around the back side? Six inch? Can you make your fingers that big? Ooh, really small. Let's go to our team two over here. They've been waiting so quiet and patiently. Is that bigger or smaller than what you thought? Boston was pretty good. You see that inch? You see it? It's really small. Okay. If you can hear my voice, touch your ears. If you can hear my voice, touch your ears. If you can hear my voice, use an inch measurement and touch your nose. How many inches is your nose? What do you think? What do you think? Show me on your fingers how many inches you think it is. Ooh, we have some people say it's two inches. Some people say it's one inch. That's kind of hard. Don't you remember how big an inch was? Oh, I see the problem. Oh, you can't remember because it's hard unless you have a ruler. Let's see. I'm going to put our inch right on top of our ruler. That's one inch. How many inches are in this ruler? One. One. We have one inch here. One inch here. I'm going to give you a ruler and you are going to count them. You're going to count how many inches are in your ruler. This is already seven. This is already seven. This is to you 
ruler and measure something at your desk. If I'm going to tell you what it is, I know that you might not know. The first thing you are going to measure is how long your hand is. Everyone show me your hand, just like this. Your fingers close together. You're going to measure from here, the top of your biggest, longest, middle finger, all the way down to where it bends. Do you see that crease your hand makes? I want you to take your ruler. And I lost my I'm going to borrow your tool, Kayla. Okay, you're going to take your ruler and you see where it says the number one? The number zero is invisible. It's this part right here. Zero to one. And you want the zero to be on the fold of your hand all the way to the top. <gasps> where your middle finger pokes out is how long your hand is. My hand is six inches long. How long is yours? Once you know, once you know, just raise your hand. Mine's three inches. Mine's five. Mine's six and a half. Mine's five inches. Okay. Let's see. Who is sitting quiet and needs a hand raised? Audrey, how long is your hand? Five inches. Five inches. Audrey's hand was five inches long. Hmm. Oh, that was the measurement. It helps put it in the right spot. Five inches. Okay. The next thing, boys and girls, we're going to measure is how long is your pinky. But before you measure it, so your ruler should be flat on your table. Okay, so you shouldn't have measured your pinky yet. If you, boys and girls, if you measured your pinky, you weren't listening. Look at your pinky. Just show me your pinky. Estimate. What does estimate mean? America. It means you guess. Yes. Estimate, boys and girls, how long do you think your pinky is? Go ahead. Addison, how long do you think your pinky is? Two. Oh, she thinks her pinky is two inches. So I'm going to write that here. Our estimate is that our pinky is two inches long. I my pinky is two inches. Okay. My guess is three. How long is your pinky? Now measure your pinky. My name is one. I'm going to guess one. My name is one. Thank you, Talon, for raising your hand. I'm going to call on Talon because he raised his hand quietly. How long is your pinky? Two Two and a quarter. We're going to say Talon's pinky is about two inches long. Okay, boys and girls, you are going to measure a few more things, but this time, you have to be listening for these instructions or you're not going to So if you can hear me, turn your chair, just like Kayla. If you can see Kayla do exactly what she's doing. You are going to get this paper. I'll put it right here so you can see. And you're going to use your ruler and measure each item. Remember how we measured our hand? We had the ruler at the very bottom of our hands all the way to the top. You're going to do the same thing here. So you're going to put your ruler right up against that bottom line and then look. How many inches long? Three. Three inches. Okay, Jamie, go ahead and put the lights on. When you have finished this, you have another one that you'll get to do.
if you hit it on your table or your neighbor, I'll take it away and you'll just have to look at your neighbor and do the activity. Okay? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Awesome. Okay, now you can start. Make one pasture sound. Make one pasture sound. 